Yo guys, Hoopla Mafia here, and today I'm joined with my with my friend Fries, and today we're talking about One Punch Man here. Nobody knows, is it worth buying? Today we'll be going over if you should really be interested in the story mode, the combat, and breaking down each one of them. To start off, Fries is going to talk about the uh, story mode and the character customization. Fries, thank you. You're interested, Fries. Tell people who you are. Alright, so I'm Raze, you know, I, I make sort of online content, so uh, click the description, you know, check me out, but let's get, the, uh, the, get that out of the way, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk about the open world aspect of the game. Now, from the trailer we have seen gameplay of the CSC running around to different mentors in different areas and talking to them, and engaging into fights. So, if you have watched the anime, you do know there are different city blocks where different enemies do occur. And going with the story, because no, that this game is gonna be just completely revolved around your CAC and its story. Because the game is called One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, and the hero is your CAC. So I'm assuming you're gonna be going around beating up the bad guys in certain areas, meeting new mentors, and acquiring new skills around the areas you stay at. So there are different city blocks, of course. And that's where, like, for example, Saitama's gonna be in his city area, you know, and Genos. And there's gonna be different people at different areas. And I guess this is where, like, they introduce these skills. You could have mentors similar, like, to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And if you have played that, you do get, like, new skills after fighting with their mentor and everything like that. So, I feel like they might implement something like that into the game. And it's most likely they will, because why else would they have, like, a bunch of mentors? Like, I mean, th there's no point of adding these much characters, because disciples are mentioned, like, you know, Saitama says, you want to be my disciple, well, I, I don't want any more in the actual trailer. But the for the customization, for the, by the looks of it, character customization is a, it's kind of a meh. Some people say, like, you can make your characters, like, I don't know, ninjas or something, similar to Speed of Sonic. I'm not sure about the actual fighting types, but we'll just have to see on the like when the game is fully released. No, this is only the beta at the moment, but you all know that the beta isn't really that different from the actual game. The only thing that like has changed in the beta are some bug fixes and just things that they should add in. That's it. Other than that, the beta is basically mm. the main game. But for the story, there's nothing more to it other than you know it's it's fight. You know, last time they made a. Uh, CAC game that revolved around CAC, uh, Jump Force, well, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> game that revolved around CACs was Jump Force, and we all know how that turned out, and it was just trash, horrendous, trash, alright, let's just get that out of the way, <laughs> it was so bad, like, everything about the whole CAC aspect and Jump Force, like, the customization was amazing, it's just, the whole story and everything, just, it wasn't good, so, it's basically covering, the CAC aspect and the open world aspect and mentors and skills and one more thing is you'll possibly be able to join groups now if you have watched a uh, season 2 you know Fubiki and how she comes up to Saitama to ask him to join her little group that she has for all the B tiers now you probably will be starting off as a C tier hero and you probably will be able to join like guilds or groups whatever you want to call them and help yourself rank up but other than that that's uh, all for me i'm gonna hand you guys back to hoopla mafia so guys what i really want to talk about is the uh, combat itself so being being that i play the actual beta and also my gameplay showed up on the screen here um the combat at first um it was fun but then as i later as i played for an over like 30 minutes to an hour it got really really stale um there were a lot of problems starting off i want to say that playing as the deep sea king his hit his just him fighting him and playing as him for one was atrocious it just felt like he was just way too big for the game um he is he is ginormous and he is able to transform so there are transformations and awakenings but the way it works is some characters don't have awakenings just like how they don't have it in the um in the, in the anime itself so for example when you play as genos you were able to get the um metal, the super metal arms that he gets in the um, season one same thing with the um deep scene key he transforms into that one frightening really terrifying form and then for um silver fang he takes off his shirt which is kind of weird but whatever and then for terrible tornado 
she has where she gets really really angry and she just powers up now some characters were all it is just an awakening form and nothing more and it's it's cool but the downfall of where the awakening really does stamp um really um fumble to is that charging up is a big part of the game and it's not like where you can punch him a little bit and your meter goes up it takes it's like full-on full combos to where you're like okay i need to do i need to hit him here here and here and you still don't have enough meter to do an ultimate and it's, it's just like it, it's 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 annoying having to always rely on having a bar to go into awakening it should be like a separate thing it shouldn't be okay when you charge up and then go awakening it should be okay well you've taken so much damage already here you go now you can use your awakening just i think that's one thing spike spike really should have just took from jump for it's like okay well you've taken so much damage here you go here's a here's a here's a um, awakening it should be it should be like a comeback factor it shouldn't be something that's always available because like the one thing i will note that i do like is that when you're fighting somebody there is no um there are no super frames there are no like frames where they're like always invincible inv invincibility frames excuse me there aren't any invincibility frames which is really really cool so like if you if someone were to, were to do an ultimate you could knock them out of ultimate just like that so there is there there's 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 ups and downs because like i feel like in any in any anime fighting game you fight you play him the awakening or the ultimate move is always your comeback factor there is no comeback factor in this in this game before this recording rise and i were talking about how like oh i was telling him in the open beta when i was playing it it's like there is no there is no like recovery it's always it's either you're smashing circle for perfect blocks and even at that the perfect blocks can be done in ultimates too so you can you can really phase out of um you can phase out of ultimates you can phase out of combos at any time so it's just kind of and jump force how they have high speed counters but it's i feel like in jump force you're able, not able to do that because you have a gauge saying hey you only you have this much stamina left behind there is no stamina gauge in a one punch man it's literally your move it's really just a move gauge and you could literally do as many amounts of um perfect guards as you want but i will i will add perfect guards are hard to pull off too so something they could really add to this to really just counter that is to just do what nard to do in nard to new store four just have it to where it's just a sub a sub gauge you get four subs five subs six subs as many as you want that doesn't really matter for the most though and then th that problem solved uh, so it's it's kind of iffy because you're you're always you're, you're always you're always free from a combo and i will say the hit detection the hit detection is fine but it also comes down to if you're in the range of that character so i, I think the most broken character that probably is in the um in the open beta was su um, super speed sonic and then um I want to see Deep Sea King at moments because there were people online that can use him and Genos and Terrible um, Terrible Tornado. Everyone else that was in the beta, even your CAC, weren't really that good. Um, and that's really the point I really want to drive. It comes, it really does come down to what characters you play, what you play as, and how they operate. Because there have been moments where you could literally stand back and spam and just you know really a spam, but zone with um Terrible Tornado, just la keep launching her building, launching buildings and stuff like that and that was that was cool for a moment like, oh this is cool you know and that's how to really get through my head that this is like really this is just the beta yeah but the more and more i played i'm like this isn't the beta this is the final version of the game it's like like i said earlier and like how i always say the beta is basically what the game is because there's alpha and there's beta beta is like okay this is just a network test basically and the game i will admit the game did not have any lag so that's that's a that, that's a thumbs up but i feel like if they just add a substitution gauge um have a little bit better range for certain characters there you go and then there won't be there won't be forcing people to play in a certain meta where it's the meta can always change. now one thing i will add that makes the game kind of worth buying would be the fact that there are two different types of plays so in the beta they have saitama play with playing with saitama on ranked or local battle as they call it um and non and non battle with Saitama. So the way it works is obviously, as, as I said, you can play. You can have Saitama come in where, where you work as a two man team instead of a three man team. And I like the fact they did that because it it does make it makes it fun for people that just want to troll people and play as Saitama on one mode, and people that really just want to have a good time and play with the other characters without Saitama. So that's one thing they did really good. Another thing I want to add that they did really good is that they did, it was really everything's really accurate towards the anime. 
Mor Mortem Rider, excuse me, <laughs> the guy with the bike. He actually just ride down on a bike. He throws his bike. He does. So like, I feel like they did. They did really match everything. The game has a really anime feel to it. And I will say, it's been a long time since I played the anime game that was really accurate to um what is to to the actual continuity. So that's something they did good. But in terms of combat and it, it, combat and way the game feels and plays. It's a game. It's it's a it's a game you could play for thirty minutes and then be bored of, but it's a game that that does have potential. Um, it, it, they just need to have a little, you know, spits spits and shines here, and then they'll, the game will be fine. But guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Check my my friend Rise out on his channel. His channel will be linked in the description below and also on the screen here. Uh, Rise, anything you want to add? Um, for the story mode. As a whole, if you if you want to get skills with the story mode, I recommend not having your hopes up high. Like, it's a CSG, it's a game, it's a, it's a game of the world like CSG, and it's not really about One Punch in general. So, for the story, it's not worth buying if you're gonna only play the story. But yeah. that's it from my side. You know, you, you know what I think they're gonna do, and then the video's over. <laughs> I think what they're gonna do, no, I hear nobody knows. It's gonna be you're gonna basically being. The person who Saitama was in his own anime, how the storyline revolves around Saitama, revolves around the world around Saitama and not Saitama. So what they might just do, like um, you might play all, the, you might do all the fights Saitama was was in, and that'll be it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But alright, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Peace. Please check my man's rise out again. His channel will be linked in on the screen and in the description. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.